Hello everyone, welcome to Dr. Chan's Medical Ailments Forum today. So uh, I would like to give you a quick update on the topic infantile colics. Uh, the reason that I chose this topic is because I've got a real life demonstration for you here. Well, you see, my daughter will not sleep from probably around 7 o'clock to 1 o'clock. Um, most of the time she sleeps very well. During the day you can put her down on the cot and she sleeps perfectly fine and she feeds well and she's growing well. But the only thing is from 7 o'clock to about 1 o'clock, um, in this kind of period she would just like to be held and there's no way that you're trying to put her down on the cot and she will sleep. So I thought that would give you a real life demonstration or an update on infantile colics because to be honest, what I've done a topic um done this topic previously um but i didn't have a daughter then so all the theories somehow sometimes can get out of the window so um just to do a recap on what is infantile colics so colic is something that it's not a real medical diagnosis um i would say that this is a collection of symptoms that happen to babies starting from around um three weeks old and uh, there's a rule of threes to remember so starting from three weeks old that lasting three hours of no reason of crying whatsoever she's been fed and changed and clean and they're still crying and uh, they can last up to three hours as i said and happening at least three days in a week and more than three weeks so that would be a definition of colic now, um, quite a lot of babies have this kind of problem. And when I last researched, they said that 40% of babies suffer from infantile colics. And eventually, when they get older, it just uh, get better on its own and completely disappeared. So we're talking about, you know, if you're lucky, six to eight weeks time, they get better, but generally peaks at six weeks. And um, some people or some babies grow out of it by three months. Some might take a bit longer. So um, I have been reading into different causes of uh, colics and the funny thing is there's so many reasons behind it or so many theories behind it but nobody have actually proven uh, which one is the correct reason uh, for colics. So let's just go through them quickly. Sometimes some people say that it's a temperament of the babies um, that, you know, causing colics to happen. Once again, other other people said it doesn't work like that. Uh, some people said it could be because of the baby has been overstimulated during the day because they're still developing, um, as in brain-wise, they're still developing. So it's quite taking quite a lot of information during the day potentially can make them um, restless or overtired and sometimes can cause colic. And Otherwise, some people said that it could be because uh, when the baby is feeding, especially if they're bottle fed, they might be taking in too much milk in one go and it's, the transit time is really quick. And sometimes in colicky baby, they can present with um, excess uh, flatulence or having a lot of gas in the stomach. And they might think that, you know, taking in too much air when you're being fed or if the food is transiting too quickly could be the cause of the problem. Once again, not sure whether this is the uh, reason for colics but these are the potential reasons for baby having colics so um the most important thing is you shouldn't actually blame yourself for um baby behaving that way because it's not their fault it's not your fault it's something that just happened and eventually it will grow away um the things that you can do or potentially try are uh, cycling the legs because by cycling the legs or pushing the legs up against the belly um would actually help to um, excrete the excess gas from the stomach, then I feel a bit better when they're doing that. Um, sometimes uh, massaging the tummy also helps uh, when they're very gassy. Some people might think about using medications like over-the-counter medications, for example, Invercol or um, Invercol or uh, Dentinox, for example. These are the medication that you can buy them easily over the counter and they said that it's to help the babies with um, colicky symptoms, especially gas and um, quite a lot of babies don't burp very well and uh, these medication claim that if you use them then the baby can burp a little bit better hence getting rid of the excess gas that they have in the stomach um, people also try gripe water and they swear by it and saying that is amazing personally speaking i have tried all these medications and it seems that none of them work but you never know you can try them for your babies and see see how it goes my general advice would be don't use it more than a week if it's not doing anything because they're still very young and obviously uh, the least medication that you pump into them the better 
And just to remember, sometimes it can be quite distressing when a baby is crying for hours on end and you've got no idea why they're doing so. So most important thing is to make sure that you get help from other people if you can. And if you really, really um, are stuck on your own or nobody can help you and you're very stressed out about the situation, sometimes it's okay to kind of leave the baby in a, in a safe place, like in the pram for a minute or two, for you to just to walk away and calm yourself down and come back to have another go to see if you can calm them down. Um, the thing is, if the um, unexplained crying go on for a long time, I'm talking about, you know, months uh, or even weeks and you're worried and the baby is not growing, then the most important thing is to consider um, taking your babies to see the GPs because these symptoms could be caused by something else rather than colics. For example, um, let's say infantile reflux, which can be easily treated with medication. So I hope that this little update is useful for you, uh, just because it's my personal experience, rather than just you know telling you what I learned from books when you were in university. And... Um, in due course, I'll give you some more baby updates. Take care for now. Bye-bye.